So we've taken a look at random, systematic, accuracy, precision, as well as the conversions between absolute and relative uncertainties. Another um, uncertainty that we could calculate is for averages. The average uncertainty calculation follows the formula of maximum minus minimum divided by two. Let's take a look at an example. This means that say we want to bake different types of pastries. The mass of yeast measured a number of times for different batches of pastries were as such. As we can see, we have one, two, three, four, five different values. So let's start with calculating the average yeast. The average yeast in this case would be adding up all five of the values and then dividing it by the total number of values that we have weighed. So we've weighed a total of five different yeast sets. So we get an average of 0 0.3624. We could see that our mass, our electronic balance used to measure the masses of yeast is accurate to the thousandths place. So this means that we need to report our final average value in the thousandths as well. And so that's why we round this to 0 0.362 grams. Now let's take a look at how to calculate average uncertainty. Average uncertainty in this case is we take a look at the, the five different measurements that we've taken, figure out the maximum measurement, which in this case is 0 0.372 grams, figure out the minimum, which is 3 point, 0 0.332 grams, and plug that into our formula of max minus min divided by two, and that gives us 0 0.025. Again, our electronic balance is only accurate to the thousandths place. So this means that our uncertainty needs to be reported to the, the most accurate digit of the thousandths place as well. And so that's why our final solution does not need to be rounded and stays at 0 0.025. So the average amount of yeast that we used for the pastries in total then becomes 0 0.362 plus or minus 0 0.025 grams.